It's time for this course's first aside. Throughout this course, we'll have lectures that are called asides. And what that means is that while we won't be talking directly about Node.js, we will be introducing a concept or an idea that we need to understand in order to be able to understand Node.js. In this case, this is a conceptual aside, meaning an idea or concept that we need to understand in order to be able to move on and continue digging deeper into Node.js. This conceptual aside is the command line interface, or CLI, or CLI. And that actually brings us to our very first big word alert. All right, we just used a big word or phrase that sounds like it might be complicated. Break glass. A command line interface. That means a utility or a program where you type commands into your computer rather than clicking around with the mouse. And that's really about all it means. There are different kinds of command line interfaces depending on which kind of computer you're using or operating system. Uh, there's Bash on Linux, there's Terminal on Mac, there's the Command Prompt on Windows, and there's other replacements. You can actually download other command line interfaces, but they all essentially work the same way. You type in a command, you type in programs that you want to run, and they run rather than clicking around with your mouse. And actually, this is the way that things used to be. Computers didn't always have graphical user interfaces or GUIs, that is to say, things that look like pictures, icons that represent things, things you could look at and see. Rather, it was things that you just typed in. You were just looking at words on the screen. So you may already be very familiar with the command line if you used DOS or Unix or other things like that. But not everyone, especially newer programmers, is familiar with the command line. And the issue is that when you're working with Node.js, you're going to be working a lot in the command line. I know that sounds strange because the command line is old school, but it also can be really useful and it really isn't that difficult to use once you're used to it. In fact, if you're a modern web developer these days, you need to know how to use command line interface. If you're already very familiar, you can actually skip this lecture. And I won't say that often because this course is very progressive. One lecture builds on the next. But in this case, if you're already very familiar with command line interfaces, you already have a leg up when it comes to using Node.js, you can move on to the next lecture. If not, let's show you an example of what we're talking about. So I have two things open here on my computer. I'm running Windows, but what we'll talk about applies to both Windows, Mac, as well as Linux. First, I have what you're probably used to, my graphical interface, my GUI. That is to say, I see files, I see folders, I can click on them with my mouse. It's, it's very visual. This is the command line interface. A little bit different, right? It's just words. And yet, here it is with this cursor. I can type and I can send commands, the same commands I can with my mouse using the graphical interface. So for example, here I am in the same folder and I can see what folders and files are sitting here. How can I do that here? Well, if you're on Mac or Linux, you type in a command, ls. On Windows, I'll type in dir, a little bit different, but works the same way. I hit enter, and my command line interface, which is really just text, shows me the exact same list of files and folders, and when they were last changed. Make sense? So this list of files and folders is the same list that I see over here. And I got that list by typing a specific command that I just know I've memorized because, well, I've done it a whole bunch of times. The same would be for you. Memorizing commands in the command line, while at first may sound annoying, becomes very natural the more you do it. And there's plenty of other things I can do. For example, if I want to dive into this V8 folder, I double click with my mouse and here, in the command line interface, I use a command, cd 
change directory. And I'll say v8, enter. And now I'm inside this v8 directory, the same one that I'm in here. And I'll hit dir or ls if I'm on Mac or Linux, dir, enter, and whoa, I scroll back up and there's my big list of files and folders. Now, sometimes the command line interface will provide commands that help a little bit visually. For example, I can put dir slash w. That is an argument. Oh, wait a second. Big word alert. Arguments? Break glass. Arguments are values you give your program that affect how it runs. Essentially, this is like passing a value to a function if you're programming. Your program, the name of your program is what you type, or the name of your command is what you type. And then after that, separated by spaces most often, you type different arguments that that particular command or particular program expects. And you just have to know, again, what they are. But the argument will then affect what the program does. The program might say, if you give me this argument, I'll behave this way, or a different argument, and I'll behave a different way. All right, let's, let's see this example. So I've typed this dir command, and I've given an argument, a parameter, a value that this program understands. dir understands that slash w means something. When I hit enter, notice that instead of getting a single column list, I get a list in multiple columns. So that makes it a little bit easier to read. I can even give multiple arguments if the program or command accepts it. I can do slash w and slash p. So when I hit enter, it shows me everything up to where it fills my screen and then gives me a press any key to continue to allow me to continue. Pretty simple. Similar, I can do things like if I go back, by the way, if I wanted to go back, I might do cd and then dot dot, which means the folder above me, change directory to the folder above me. And then in my command here, my regular interface, I might make a folder like that. But here, I might type make directory mkdir, and then the argument is the name of the folder. And if I go back, we'll see that there, that folder's back again. And that's pretty much it. Using the command line interface is about knowing the commands, knowing the program, and all of the arguments that it takes. And then how you can string those commands and arguments together to do what you want. And using Node.js, really using many of the ways that we build modern web software now, means knowing how to use the command line interface and knowing certain commands. By the way, I'd be negligent if I didn't mention PowerShell. If you're a Windows user, you're using Windows 7 or above, you can search for PowerShell and use that instead of the command line if you like. It's much more powerful, has more commands, and has something standardized the same way that Linux and Mac does, like I can use ls to list a directory instead of dir. Also, if you're a Mac user, you're likely actually using bash when you use the terminal, or you might be using bash itself directly, because Mac now has a Linux core, which it didn't use two years ago. So either way, though, what we're doing in this course will require very little command line interface knowledge. But if you want to dive deeper, feel free to do so. So as we go through the rest of this course, We'll spend some time here in the command line interface. Don't be scared of it. Don't be worried about it. You'll learn the commands and you'll learn to use them. Whether you're on Linux or on Mac or on Windows, you can learn these commands and use them. And then you'll be able to do some really cool things with Node and some other programs. All right, we're ready to move on. This was our first aside. Notice that we didn't really talk about Node we talked about something we need to understand to use Node. And that's what these asides will help us to do. Let's move on.